Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. And yeah, so far we're doing pretty good. We got first automation going. Uh, uh, as just like satisfactory, we can get into higher tier conveyors, which do move items a lot faster. But that's fine. Uh, this thing has been doing pretty good, so it's uh, almost two stacks of plates, which is really good. Which means we can actually start making some machines. Uh, one of the first things we're gonna make. This is a big one. It's a jetpack. And I need a few a few more ingots for that. Uh, there's no ingots coming through. I gotta wait for them to come out of the furnace. Uh, what we're gonna do, actually, is we're gonna make a conveyor splitter. There we go. The reason why we're gonna do that is I actually want to have a second chest set up so I can actually have, uh, you know, the items that are going to the machine. So, am I out of log? Wait. I need to cut down a tree. <laughs> I was thinking about that earlier, I wanted to go get some more stone logs because we're running out, but we're going to have to start getting into coal pretty quick here. Make one of those. And go up, and up, and up. And we will take... Take this one out. Just because we can. Alright, and do that. We'll do... Uh, ooh, interesting. Take that and try that again. I never actually used this before. Oh, yeah, it's interesting. Alright, I gotcha. Yeah, I never actually used that before. You know what I mean? They're, they're, it may not seem like much, but there's a lot to do in this game. So how does this work? Let's put a chest here. Am I missing something here? Let's try something here. Let's move it ahead and take all this out. Put the conveyor splitter here. And see what happens when I do this. Nothing. What if we do this? Ah, I gotcha. So then if I go the other way, if we do that, take that out, and then put it right here. Take this conveyor out and turn it this way. So when the cop comes out, I'll split one way, and then I'll split the other way. And again, I put that in the wrong spot. <laughs> I actually want to put that here. All right, let me fix this. I'm going to take that, that one out, and this out. I want the chest on this side. Helps if the conveyor is facing the right way. Hey, excuse me. There we go. All right, now I'll put the conveyor splitter. Yes, just like that. Put the chest back in here. So one will go that way, and the next one should go that way. In theory, what I'll do is actually, uh, you can't actually dra drag items into outputs, so then the robot will keep going. Now once we upgrade that, okay, so it uh, will remember which one goes which, so I get one in there, one in the press, so that actually gets me ingots. And that works. So now, as I was saying, need just a couple of it. need eight more ingots actually. There's three, four. Wait for these to go through and I can make my GF pad, which is going to be great. That's still going producing amazingly. This is holding quite the buffer, so it's not too bad, but as you can see, we're out of copper. So I'm going to have to go and do some more 
gathering pretty quick here. In fact, we could probably do that while we wait. Make sure I have inventory space and let us have a look around over here. Let's see what we have. Now, you don't have to worry about getting lost. If you look at the hot bar down at the bottom, you can actually see the house icon. That's the bed. So, that's one of the reasons why you have, have the bed, is so you can actually see where your, your home is. And have a look while we go around, get little things that you might come across. Uh, we'll have to go to the desert eventually and to get some sand so we can make glass. And yes, we can make glass, we'll need to make lenses and uh, there are different things we can build. Now, copper usually, of course, you see that bright, bright, deep Kool-Aid orange just like that. That's copper. That's what we're going to do. Grab a little bit of that while we wait and we're going to start getting into the coke oven. So we can start making steel. I get the iron and I'm not getting much of this copper. That's a bad deposit. Uh, good old cave systems, huh? Right, there shouldn't be too much. Should be some more around. Uh, I don't know if there's any like actual structures or anything generated in this game. But I do see like these odd little things showing up everywhere. Like, you know, just a couple of random blocks like dark stone or block of emerald, for instance. Uh, I haven't really looked at what the emerald is for, but yeah, well, I'm sure we'll need it eventually. Let's go ahead and grab some copper here. How much did I get? It's about a stack. Grab a little bit more somewhere. I'll have to grab that biomass or uh, organics while we're at it. What I like about the jetpack is I'm so used to jumping around. All right. I think we should have everything we need for our jetpack ready to go. Actually, there's a nice little strip of copper right here. We'll take. Oh, gonna give me a lot of salt though. Ah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Uh, I want to avoid the caves until I actually get the jetpack going because that's uh, that's so nice. Uh, you cannot run in the game, as far as I know. Uh, while well, once we get that, we're going to hunt down some fuel, too. Very interesting land generation, indeed. I don't know if the, pine, the palm trees are any different than anything else, but or any of the other trees. But let's see how many ingots we got. We have enough for a jetpack. And what does that actually get us? 20 copper ingots. Ooh. Uh, that's gonna be a long crafting queue there. Let's harvest more bamboo while we wait. Gonna take that and should be good. Uh, we're gonna be running out of steam pretty quick here. Literally. Yep. Well, we got ten logs in there. We got that one's actually empty. Uh, we need a few. What do we got in here? Take that. And we'll take this out for now. Uh, it will only burn in full segment, uh, full increments of one, but the way it's produced is kind of infractional, so it's a little off, well, I won't say off, but can be definitely grindy, but anyways, the way to work that, use this, we just put it on our hot bar, and we jump, as you can see, it's steam, uh, we don't have to fill it, but there's no actual, like, flight in the game, but you can get like really high jumps out of it no fall damage we don't have any health but yeah it's cactus i wonder if this what this actually gets us nothing that's fine but yeah we have the desert and then we got like i said the block emeralds and stuff like that but i wanted to see if the palm trees are just like regular wood or if they burn a little bit better what does that get me That gets me stone logs. No, it doesn't. That gets me the regular logs. Okay, that's not the trees I'm looking for. I am looking for the big guys. Now you actually have to have this on your hot bar to work. And I think that might be one of them there. Yes, it is. And if you time it right, you get really high. And I think it might actually be holding it. Thank God there's no fall damage. You just stand here and wait for it to all drop on you. Just like that. Easiest wood chopping ever. Let's see if we can find another one. 
few more right here. And yes, you can actually hit the trees. Whoa. Almost ended up in a hole. Fortunately, it was a small hole. Best wood source ever. Or fuel source ever. And the best thing is it produces a lot of ash too, so we can use that through the uh, electrolyzer when we get into it. And we'll go from there. Then that just gets us even more fuel. So it's like the best kind of fuel source there is. We get these dead trees too, and I think this might give us the stone wood as well. No, that's the regular stuff. But these are the trees I want. You gotta be careful too, you gotta catch the stuff too, it rolls away on you. Uh, we should be good. Alright, back to the old jetpack. Uh, find home, and off we go. Let's scout around, see what we can find. There's a huge cave in that mountain. Up we go. Wow, get really high with this. And this is just a copper one. Yeah, I'm definitely holding it. Uh, right here is a huge deposit of co coal. We're gonna get. We might as well get. Might as well get this while we while we're here, because we gotta get that coke oven up and running. First thing I'm doing is getting a steel multi tool. So much easier. Do do do. Gotta love that really heavy, deep bass piano music. It's almost like something's gonna creep up behind you and jump scare you. Ah! Just kidding. <laughs> well, let me know in the comments if, you actually, if I actually got you I was a try but uh, if I did I'm sorry alright how much copper do we have see what I mean about the stuff rolling away on you uh, not copper coal uh, we got some we got a little more it's kind of hard to tell from the stone it's a little bit darker Got a couple of stacks of this. So this will be good fuel for now. Well, not fuel, but we'll need it for the coal coke. Uh, should be enough for now, I guess. All right, let's uh, fly home. Wee! I don't need stairs. Awesome. See how this is doing. We've got eight in there. We'll just stick that in there for now. All right, let's get some better fuel in here. Longer lasting fuel. Oh, that was good. Uh, do gotta get the item chest going. Uh, let's see what's next on the agenda. Coke oven and the blast furnace. We can do that. We have the copper and the fuel and everything else. We m might need more steam, but we'll deal with that later. So here we need to start making bricks. Now I did have some co some clay here. And there is that there. So we'll, I'm going to actually use this. I think the only thing we can actually use this for is the bricks. Uh, let's see. Yeah, turn it into clay dust. Clay dust, of course, turns into... Okay, now let's uh, back up a little bit here. Let's not go down that road. But anyways, you can uh, craft that and get uh, one to one unfired clay brick. Or you can do it by hand same thing so you don't really need the metal press for it but that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and as soon as I find them here if I was a clay brick where would I be it's in here somewhere there it is I can make 22 of them I will need a lot more so I'll have to get some more clay we go back here, we should be able to make the copper coke oven as soon as this is all done. And we also need the blast furnace, which needs 20, so we're going to have to get more clay. Now, I did have clay over here, did I not? Uh, yeah, right here. Oh. Now I got a jetpack, so I don't care. Alright. Shovel up some clay here. So we're going to make some more bricks. Uh, if, in case you haven't noticed, there is actually a HUD up top so you can sort of see what you're pointing at. Uh, but that's just exactly what you're pointing at. When you dig it, you'll actually get little bits of whatever's around it too in some cases. 
So that gets me another 18. So we can go back here. And to that, make another 18 of those. Jetpack away. Oh, that wasn't enough. And now we got a place to cook them. Uh, we'll cook them in here. Uh, Alright, let me do that. Sorry about that. Okay, now... No, 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 no. Now we wait until they cook. So, I'll bring you back when that's done. Okay, I am done. Uh, done a little bit of AFK, a little bit of gathering up. Uh, it's not actually what I should show you. It's in the chest here. Got a whole bunch of coal. Got more biomass or organics. We'll need that for something. I do have a whole bunch of iron, but what I want to do is I want to get the same setup going for the iron process. Uh, we're going to have to end up moving this thing, possibly. Actually, no, we're going to be doing it down there, uh, which means we might have to actually upgrade the boiler system. Uh, we won't be going to steel. Like the, the furnaces are producing enough heat. That's not the problem. Uh, the problem is the amount of steam we're producing. So what I think I'm going to do is I have to watch out for the steam pipe here. Uh, what I could do, actually, let's actually move that. Put it down here. Because I want to have these two, uh, two more furnaces basically relatively close. I actually want that. Uh, copper's not cheap these days. Oh, and that's the issue with the jetpack. <laughs> it's okay, no fall damage. Uh, a little late on the music, but oh well. I'm going to take this off. And then what I can do, go ahead and place that there. And I won't actually connect the steam. And this one can come off that side and. That should be good. Then I can take two more of these out. I need. Need to make a couple more furnaces. We'll go do that. One, two. And two more copper boilers. Uh, it's a cutting machine. One, two. It's good having all this spare copper right now. I'm like, I could have four stacks. My first playthrough, I didn't, yeah, I didn't have anything like this. Uh, no, this is me actually trying to do this. Okay, I'll take that out, take that out. Uh, yeah, we'll put the stairs on this side. That's going to be a new feature for me. I need to actually make a couple stairs. Go ahead and... One, two, make two of those. Well, technically four of them. And then again, that's just so I can actually access the furnaces without me actually falling in the in the hole and having the jetpack out. And not that I got a problem using the jetpack; it's fun to use. Okay, and perfect. The water's on that side. That's going in. These are ready to go. Throw some more petrified wood in there. Producing steam. Awesome. So now I just gotta connect them up to the rest of the network. Uh, I gotta make a few pipes here. I think I can actually afford it. What do you know? Alright, yeah, we are doing really good. Uh, so I'm gonna actually go the other way around. Uh, it gets confusing because your chest is on the left. Uh, you can't actually move the windows. Grab some of those, grab some of those. And what we're going to do is we're going to make another ore washer. We're going to make... Uh, what are we going to make here? Let's see. Let's make 10. Make 15 conveyors. A couple of robots. Like a shopping list. Oh my god. So I know you got you're producing stuff. Uh, what else do we need? We need two more hammers. Uh, one, two, and then give me a whole bunch more pipe. There we go. All right, so uh, I don't have too much pipe right now. What we can do is try to get this hooked up and try to, you know. I'm going to have to go up or come across here and then... 
to go to the corner because I can't have the two pipes. Like I said before, I can't have the pipes cross or what's going to happen is the machines themselves will actually fill up with water and not steam. The steam will go away and they'll fill up the water and then you actually have to take the machine apart to take the water out because you can't actually dry your fluids. So that is the thing. So I will bring you back when that is done. Okay, I got some pipe. So now we can go ahead and get this all hooked up so that we can actually get these machines running at a uh, better rate. Go like that and like that. So now these are outputting steam. These machines should continually run now. Uh, there's actually nothing coming out because we're being held up by the smelter over here. This is actually starting to back up. So we might get in. I don't think we can get into a copper smelter. That's where we get to the arc furnace. Or copper. We get the copper furnace, but. Hold on. Let's actually look at this. I, I don't think there actually is one. I'm going to do a search. Uh, yeah. Uh, like I said, <laughs> there's a lot. Uh, let's not look at that anymore. <laughs> yeah, that'll scare you. Uh, so, yeah. Is there a copper tier of this thing? The stone smelter? No. We gotta, we gotta get this steel. So we're stuck with this thing, but that's fine uh, because that's our steel. We process that through the hammer, and we process that through through the wash plant. We do that and run it through another furnace, and it gets this iron ingots. And we use the iron ingots in the blast furnace with the coal coke to get steel. Isn't it great? Uh, so what was I waiting on? Uh, nothing. So, I, I was making some brick too. I'm going to have to expand this a little bit more. But I'm going to mo basically mirror this exact setup. So, I have the pipe there. So, we're going to take the washer. And the washer is going to need how many blocks? One, two, three. Three blocks. Three blocks from this pipe. I hope I know what I'm doing. Uh, I gotta turn this on so I actually know what I'm doing. Okay, steam engine has to be on this side. And we lined up. Yes. One, two, three. That should be right. Alright, so I need a steam engine. Go back to the copper here, I go with steam engine. because uh, I forgot actually I forgot to do that. And then I'll just take just a second here. Okay. Now uh, let's actually get those conveyors and made a bunch. I don't know if this is enough or not. We'll actually get the robots too. We'll start from this end and work our way forward. Uh, okay. So, robot goes this way. And then... Robot goes this way. Oh, I gotta make one of these too. And I'll make another five of those and one of those. Just because we're gonna need them. And that's the wrong spot. Of course it is. Okay. Did I really put that in the wrong spot? I did. Let me fix that. Okay, that's better. I have to turn that music down too, because that was that was starting to get to me. Okay, and then another one here. I knew it was going to be right up to the dump here. And there we go. Oh, we got 20 of them. So then what did I have? I had four that way. So one, two, three, four. And then like that. And a splitter. Like 
So, if I'd actually pick a splitter, there we go. And then from here, got two more this way. One, two, and then two this way. One, two. And then we have the metal press. Metal press is out, uh, outputting that side. Or hammer. There we go. And then another hammer this way. Okay. I'm going to dig a hole in the floor. Take that. And now we got to go pipe all this together. Oh, I'm going to put that there while I'm here. And drop down. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Now what I gotta do is actually get the the output, the wastewater output on this. Go do that, and then same thing. Drop down the hole. And what do I have for pipe? No pipe. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna waste it. What is that thing? Oh, it's a conveyor. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sweep those pipes. I'll be here in just a second. That's why it's good for me to have plates on me, but it's okay. It's okay. Pipe. Alright, now we. Oh, I just wasted one. See? Oh, we gotta go all the way over there, do we? Oh, we gotta go this way. I need more pipe. Fortunately, I had a box full of plates waiting for me. Where the copper, though? I also gotta look at ways of to sort of auto feed this thing. The only thing I think of is those these things here, but we're gonna have to get into the steel. Uh, speaking of steel, while we're messing around with this, go ahead and make two blast furnaces two coke ovens and we're going to start getting some serious amount of steel going because I realized there was a lot of steel involved in this and while we're doing this we will set these conveyors going and there and then I had a robot you know if everything wasn't uniform and in line it wouldn't be mind-numbingly I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, this is just about done. Alright, where are you, Mr. Robot? It's interesting how this thing doesn't actually use power or steam or anything like that. Okay, so that is it. And then I'm gonna put a chest here, too. Uh, let's go ahead and make another wooden chest. We don't need the copper chest right now because we don't need the copper chest. Oh, and I gotta do a water collector. Uh, any ingots? Do I? No, I need plates. Got plates right here. Make a water collector. Uh, got the six. Where's the rest of the pipes? I thought I made more pipes. Well, now I did. Alright, let's get that water collector in while we're waiting. Uh, well, I'm going to finish this up, uh, get it plumbed up, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm just about done here. Got it all plumbed up. I just made another another furnace. I'm going to put another furnace in a smelter here. Oh, that's the wrong block. That's fine, because we're going to put the stairs there. Haha. Uh, a happy mistake. And, of course, our stairs. Okay, like that. So, throw a stack of petrified wood in there and clear up my inventory, and we are good to go. So, all we have to do now, make sure everything's good to go. I got the kinetic, engine, kinetic drive going, I got conveyors hooked up, robotic arms in place, water collector, hammer set up. The only thing that's left is the chest. And we'll put that right there. Oh. One more chest. I actually forgot about that. Oh, my bad. I think I knew what I was doing. Anyways, uh, let us get the first load of 
Iron going through. Oh, that stuff. No, no, that's right. That's right. That's right. It gets hammered, then it gets washed. Alright, so we got copper. We got iron. Uh, that, we're going to have plates in there. We're going to have some ingots in here pretty soon. Uh, the ingots are going to go off. Actually, no, the ingots are going to stay there. And what's going to happen is eventually these plates that are coming into here, just like this box here, you're going to be eventually split, split out on another conveyor being split off to another box that's just going to be plates. And then going to a cutting machine to make our, our rods, which I don't actually have on me. But that's what the, the cutting machine is for. That's not the cutting machine. Uh, this thing here in my inventory. But we need to make more kinetic drives, kinetic motors for that. Oh, 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 that's not right. That's got to have a robot in it. Alright, make one more of those. Go back to copper. Ah! What am I missing? Plates. Always plates. Nope. Ingots. See? That's why I want rods. Uh-oh. Helps if I look in the right chests. Okay, I don't need plates. I need ingots. There we go. Panicking for nothing. And of course, all this stuff can be moved eventually. So let's uh, make one robot. Actually, I did do that already. Uh, take stairs out of there. Robot. Robot, you can go there. And uh, chest goes here. Now, I can't use a robot to take this out. As you can see, all sides are green, which means you can only input. And that's the drawback to these. So that's going to be your end product. you got to basically feed it to other machines or use use these things, which we're going to be able to build pretty quick here. Because uh, I did make the, the, those. I make those. Uh, we're also going to need some sort of fluid storage for these. Now, the creus, so we can actually use in a fluid furnace to generate power. And I think... Since we're going to have iron ingots coming out, and that's just going to be iron ingots here. Actually, do we need iron plates for anything else? Let's have a look at this. Uh, well, you can't actually make... Good thing I looked that up. <laughs> Alright, uh, what's in here now? That, and of course, that's not going to do anything because it's another recipe. I didn't even think about looking at that. Well, we're going to take these out then. At least it's fairly simple. Take that out, and then we're just going to have that feeding right into the coke ovens, or the blast furnace then. So we got the coke ovens here. Uh, actually see where the outputs are. Output there. That's that's not steam, that's gonna be creosote. So they're gonna be side by side. That's gonna be conveyors in pros possibly. Maybe manual feed too. Uh just I should put them over here for now. Let's see uh, that is a coke oven, right? Yeah. I'll put one there and I'll leave two block space because it's an input and an output. And then the blast furnace. That is already on the hot bar. That one will go same thing, two and two. That was three, wasn't it? No, that's two. Uh, this, unfortunately, only has inputs. It does not have an output. I think it might be I think it might be on the bottom. Oh, it's not on the top. It's not on the back, I know that. It might be on the bottom. Not too sure, but anyways, let's get some coal in here. Uh, it's a blast furnace, that's not what I want. Uh, I got the coal over here in the middle chest. Take two of those. Uh, stack in there. Stack in there, and now I got a uh, fluid tank. Uh, nope, that's a furnace. There it is. 
copper container, but that's actually only for fluids. Okay, and again, we're going to have to put a few blocks down. I have made a few. It should be okay. Uh, make it a little bit bigger just for the sake of it. Jump up and try not to hold space this time and launch myself up into oblivion. Uh, fortunately, this has multiple inputs. Off center. We'll deal with it later. Of course, pipes. Always pipes. Now, I'm wondering can you actually get those automatically made? No. You have to do them by hand. You can disassemble stuff, but that's like aluminum stage. That's. Uh, again, that's. Uh, it's going to be an adventure. Okay, and there we go. We got Creative Soap. That's filling up. We have our first coal coke. There and there. And we got that going. Now we should. I don't know if I actually pay attention. Have a chest full of, <laughs> full of iron. You know what, I'm just going to chest right here. Uh, I'm not going to worry about auto feeding it into the co uh, coke oven because it takes all the blasters. Cause that thing's kind of slow. But now with that, I'm going to take that. I can actually split the stack. If you hold shift and right click, then it splits the stack. I'll put half in there. Half in there. Grab that's not what I meant to take out. Take that out, and we'll start getting some steel going. Early days, early doors, but you know what? We're gonna need a lot of this, so I will have to get this all, all out of it. So let me get this going, uh, get some steel going, and uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm almost done here. Uh, what I did is that there's actually a quest for coke dust as well. So we got that. I um, might as well go ahead and grab our steel. Uh, I'll take that out. And we'll take uh, this one out. That gives us four. But if I move the mouse, I move the mouse before I actually go ahead and uh, open up the menu. If we do that, it gets us five steel ingots. That gives us nine. We're actually good to go. I think we actually make the metal breast now. That's going to help us get into better things. I could be cheap on that, but get over and done with. Uh, there's a possibility of getting two more co uh, coke ovens going. We'll see how it goes. Like, I do have a lot of coal. There is a lot in that swamp. Like, just basically that area there is like half coal, more or less. I think where the dark ring is. Some over there. There's coal everywhere. So, seeing as I got the tanks here, I might actually get two more going. But once we get the press going, which we have now, we gotta make one more steam engine. Uh, one there. Yes. All right, where am I gonna put this thing? Uh, this has to be next to the macerator. So this is just gonna be made for making particle board. Uh, this doesn't really matter where it goes. It's gotta be somewhere where I got got steam. And you know what? Let's actually just put it right here. Uh, that'll work. All right, now where's that steam engine? That's not what I want. That is. Yeah, there we go. So now the macerator, macerator, macerator. Uh, let's go ahead and remove the cutting. The That was a mouse rider. Uh, my bad. Yeah, there we go. Now all we do is just throw that in there. We get sawdust. The sawdust we put in the metal press. And then that actually gets this particle board. So let me grind up some logs. I'm going to get a whole bunch of these buffer chests going. But uh, I'll bring you back when that's ready. Okay. So I got a whole bunch ready to go. Let's go ahead and throw some sawdust in here. I just get a nice particle board. 
Oh, for each one of these, how much would do we need? I oh, need six. All right, six of those. They got plenty of plates. All right, we'll have to go and uh, get up some copper, but uh, steel is going to be the next thing on the list. But you know, as I said, we are going to need copper no matter what. Uh, it's just going to be a thing. Well, how many have we got there? Okay, we actually have to make one. So let's make one of those and let's hook it up somewhere. Now, probably the best place would be right here. Now you can actually sort of see where the output is, which is one side. Do that, and that gives us an extra storage slot so that I can put an extra stack of copper in here while it's working on copper in here. And that gives a little bit of buffer. The steel tier has two slots in there, and then it goes up to three, and then four, and so on and so forth. But that doesn't mean you can't have more of those set up. And it's, of course, it's relatively cheap. It's just a matter of running sawdust through this thing here. And then look at that. I have enough to make another one or two. And that'll go on the, go on the iron. And eventually, and now with these two, this is where it actually comes in, comes in handy. And I'll show you on this one. Uh, where did I put it? There it is. They actually work vertical. So it's sort of like a conduit. So I can have more or less like that, or if it, I can have it going upstairs. So we can move stuff up to another floor and work on it from there. But with that, I think we're gonna call this episode here. Like I said, you gotta do a whole lot of resource gathering after after this. And I'm already out of iron. We're getting a little bit of a backup here because it's just taking time to process it. But that's fine because it's iron, and then that is still chugging along and 30, 30 ingots. All right, how are we doing for cold coke? I forgot to take that out. Oops. That's okay. We do get some there. Alright, well, anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, leave a like. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Later.